My name is James Buccini, I'm a Web3 blockchain developer, and over the years I've competed in many hackathons and won over $10,000 in prizes. In this video I'm going to go through 9 actionable tips which you can use to compete for hackathon prizes and get the most out of the experience. Tip number one is to work on something that you're passionate about, whether that be a specific technology or a subsector like AI or Web3, and find a hackathon which suits that interest. By working on things that you're interested in, it will provide a better working environment and you'll just achieve more doing something where you have a genuine interest in what you're doing. Tip number two is to join a great team. You ideally want to be working with people you respect in the industry and that you have a good kind of camaraderie with, which will make the whole experience more pleasant. Many hackathons will let you kind of join as a group. So if you have kind of a, a group of colleagues or a group of friends that are interested in the same industry, you can kind of join as a group and all work together on the same kind of project. Alternatively, almost every hackathon will have a matching program where it will put you together with other people within the industry or kind of create events where you can meet people and form groups. And that's a great way to get to know people who are working on the similar kind of things. Tip number three is to spend the first few hours of the hackathon once the tracks have been announced, coming up with a compelling idea. If you can get a good idea which makes sense and people are interested in, then it makes the pitching process at the end of the hackathon film that much easier. Where possible, try to build on sponsors' technology. Either they'll directly sponsor some of the prizes, which will be specific to their tech, or they'll have a bias where they're going to want to kind of give prizes if they're judges to the people that are using their technology. By using the technology of the sponsors, you can align with their goals of creating more adoption for what they are building. Try to manage your time efficiently. Most hackathons will last from either a few days to a few weeks, and almost everyone has other commitments that the hackathon might not be a priority. So by managing time into blocks and kind of organizing the people within your group to work on the project when they have time and trying to coordinate that is really important to get the most out of what you're building and try to put the most into the project. Use boilerplates and pre-built front ends. Most hackathons will state that you can't start work until the hackathon starts, but the exception to this is having kind of a boilerplate which can lay out your front end, your back end, maybe some smart contracts and unit tests for generic contracts in advance so all the infrastructure is set up, saving you hours kind of getting everything ready within a working environment on GitHub. Design is more important than the product itself. What it looks like is actually more important to the judges than if it actually works. This is an unfortunate outcome, but the reality is that most of the judges aren't going to be kind of back-end developers. They're not going to understand the beautiful, elegant code that you put in place on the back-end. They're going to see the pitch, they're going to see the demo, and what that looks like is far more important than the underlying structure and infrastructure that you're building to actually make it work. That brings me on to point number eight, which is to practice the pitch, to give some time to the presenter who's going to be doing it, some time to practice and give some feedback and make sure that's as good as possible. The pitch is what will win you prizes. The final point I'd like to make is to enjoy the experience, make connections, meet people, learn how other people do things. Don't take the prizes too seriously. This is the hackathon, it's not the Super Bowl. And just go out there, build something interesting, learn from what other people are doing in your industry and make the most of the experience. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's provided some useful takeaways which you can use for the next hackathon that you compete in. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching.